Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley. This is a TS Tech Talks video guys. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make use of films. Now, um, films is one of the video editor I discussed to you guys, which is one of the top five video editor I mentioned on my previous video. And this is the films application right there. So if you don't have it yet, go to Google Play Store and search for films. This is the name. Just type in films and you'll be able to see the application. So let me go ahead and click on it to open. I already have it open previously. So this is an advert. Just click on this area to navigate back to the advert. So um, when you open the films, you have this feature right there. These two area on the top area, which is actually this in an, is an advert. These two features right there is for photo. You can take a camera with this. You can um, add filter, which is editing the photo you took. And then you can edit a video, which is cut a video or trim a video from here to here. I'm not going to show you guys that one because you can also do it by editing the video. And this is the studio area where you have all the previous video you've edited. When I click on it now, you can see everything I edited previously that's showing right there. But this is an advert, so make sure you do not click on the advert. It might affect the company. All right, guys. So um, to make use of this um, video editing software, all you need to do is to click on this big red button right there in the um, bottom center. Tap on it, and it will start editing your video. And then you need to select the video you want to edit right now um let me go ahead and click on the video since i want to select a video and make sure you know the folder where you have the video i actually have the video located in one video um maker um you know on every of my youtube video i always have um three sections of the video the intro the outro the the intro the main video and then the outro so i'm going to add the intro first before the main video this is the intro you notice it's been displayed like there because i just selected it now i'm going to navigate back and then go over to mobizone mobizone is actually um, where i recorded a video so this is probably the video that i want to make use of and i just selected on it and it displays on the bottom so i'm not going to add my outro right now i'm going to start the video I'm going to click on next and start editing the video before I add my outro because I'm making use of the same intro for the outro. I'm making use of this same video to, for the outro. So I will have to add it here. So I'll have to wait for it to um, render on the video editing area before I will be able to um, edit it. And then guys, if you made a mistake by selecting one of the video first, let's say by mistake, this video was on this side this way and you want this to come to this area all you need to do is to click and hold and then move click and hold and then you notice um there is this purple icon on around it right then you move it you notice it's movable so once you move it right it will be on the position where you want it to be now um the next thing you need to do is to click on this next icon right there once you click on the next icon when you click on the next icon, it starts playing the video and it brings you to the video editing section. This is a preview of our video. This is the timeline of the video. You can notice if I navigate, it goes over to different section of the video. This is the timeline. And on this area has the features of the video editor. Now, the first options right there is actually the themes. You notice we are currently um, on the teams, right? The teams is currently active. Now let's assume we want to make use of this team. And you notice there is this cycle right there, right? There is a cycle on the video. And also it added extra song to the video. Now let me go ahead and choose a different team. Let me choose this other one. You notice this is the feature, right? So let's assume you want to make use of any of those just go ahead and tap on it and make use of it but for some reason guys for some reason i do not want to make um use of this particular stuff if you don't want to make use of any of the teams just go ahead and click on none when you click on none it selects the team that you just selected so let's continue and also guys you can add music to your video the next option is music when you click on music this is a selection section where you tap to select your music and you'll be able to select your music from here but guys there is something actually there is a quick information i have to share with you guys if i add this music right there this music is going to interfere with my intro sound you notice my intro sound has something like 
Dun, 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 dun. So if I add this music, it's going to overlay and interfere with my main um, intro sound. So it's actually going to affect it. So the best thing I need to do is to edit. Since I want this music to um, appear on my main video, I have to edit that main video first before editing it right here. I'm going to explain further, but before I continue, let me tap on the music to add the music so that you will see. From here, you can click on the download button to download the music coming from their website, from this um, application we are making use of, which is um, Films. But I do not want to make use of the films. If you want to make use of a music you downloaded on your device, all you need to do is to click on My Music. When you click on My Music, it displays all the music you have on your device. You can go ahead and scroll down to see if you have more of them. So I'm going to go ahead and select this um, music, which is Amino. If you are okay with that, click on add. When you click on add, it starts playing. You notice the music is playing while my outro is playing, which is not what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the music for now. I'm going to show you guys how to do that properly later on. Now I just clicked on delete. So the next place you need to go to is edit. Now on the edit section, it actually allows you to do a lot of things. So the first thing I'm going to do, I told you guys I want to add uh, the outro, right? Now let me go ahead and add the outro. You notice on this area, it has um, the edit clip, right? Click on the edit clip. So when you click on the edit clip, you notice this is the two video I added previously. Now to add another video, all I need to do is to click on this um, plus icon. Click on the gallery to go to where I have my video. I think um, I will have to select videos and now click on this first folder and then select the video that I want to make use of. And now I'm going to click on next. So now I have the three video. After it finished playing, it will play my outro. So let me go ahead and click on this icon right there to confirm that I have selected what I want. So now another information guys, if you decide to add a test to your video, all you need to do is to click on this test icon to add the text to the video. And if for some reason you want to add an effect, click on the FS effect and you'll be able to see this option click on this plus icon and you will see every effect that is existing but mostly you need to download most of them to make use of it but um for some reason i'm not interested in anyone if not this is a cool effect you notice that thunder effect i just added right now now you notice this um purple area and this thunder effect is active it means this purple area is where the thunder is going to strike. And also, if for some reason you want to make it to be longer, all you need to do is like um, expand it like, like this. You notice the timeline has been expanded. So the thunder is going to go all the way from there and still keep striking. You notice it's still striking. And then if you want to increase it even further, go ahead and draw this timeline probably to the end. And let me play. Oh, it um not there, there, right there. No, here. You see. So wherever you want it to play, just drag it to that extent and then play. And there are even more effects, guys. You can go ahead and check out even more effects. Click on the plus icon, download even more interesting effect. There is another thunder right there. Download it and then play around with it. So um, let me close it out. I don't want to make use of that effect. So still on the edit section, there is still this mosaic. You can go through it and you can also add multiple music right there. But you can scroll to the area where you want the music. This one actually works perfectly well. Scroll to the area where you want the music to start playing. Click on the plus icon. Let's go ahead and select the same song. Then add up. You notice. Right now, I'm actually recording it. So the song is going to play all the way from this area. I'm trying to pause the video. I'm trying to pause the video. This song is going to play until you let go of the um, edit or probably you check it. You notice I just checked icon so it's going to stop right there but if you want to increase it even further go ahead and um go ahead and drag the timeline you notice it's selected you have to select it first once you select it drag the timeline to the area you want it to 
So let's say I want it to end there. Let's say I want it to end there. So it plays until where orange icon stops. So if you are okay with the song, go ahead and click on the check icon. And you notice the intro will play and then the song will start. Watch. And the recording starts. So right now, I'm actually the song just started. So you notice the song is playing, but the um the music, uh, which is probably the audio sound, is actually interfering. If for some reason you do not want that to happen, just click on edit also. And now you notice um you are going to notice this area on top. This is the volume of the video. Go ahead and drag it. Oh. Go ahead and drag it. I just muted the sound. Now watch. You notice the sound. You notice the sound is different from the previous one. Initially, it was very loud, but right now it's no longer as loud as it was. So that is just how to um, add song to your video. The first option that says music is not the right way to add music over the video. But if you want to add music over the video to play from the beginning and to the end, you can make use of that first option, which is also cool. Now, there is also a more interesting thing that you can do. You can go ahead and record a voice if you want to record a voice just tap on the voice and then you notice it tells you to choose just go ahead and scroll until you want to start recording the voice when you start recording the voice just tap on this recording you notice it gives you an option so i'm just going to say use now you say um you have authorized the use so go ahead and tap on it and the voice starts recording always notice that purple area it's being recorded right now so once you're done recording the voice over tap on it to stop when you tap on it it's going to stop and now go ahead and play the audio to see how it play or how it sounded so right now i have two voice in the video which is not cool right but i'm just showing you guys this in case you are interested in making use of all those stuff because most times you can record a video without a voice and decide to add a voice later on on the video this is just how to do that now let me close this out and i'm not going to save that i'm going to discard so there are even more things you can do um a sound effect and then um there is even an interesting thing i'm going to show you guys a lot of this stuff you can just play around with it um but this particular stuff i'm not going to skip this so let's assume that you are making a video tutorial um probably you see that youtube logo right there and you want to ask them to click on the youtube logo you have to make use of two things the test and also draw on it so that they would know that you are indicating this particular stuff now let me say i want to draw on that youtube logo all i need to do is to click on this google um on this doodoo it's called doodoo so click on the plus icon and then make sure you have the color selected to whichever color you want to change choose let me choose green so that it's going to stand out from the um area now click on the pen icon and if you want you can increase the pen sensitivity by um increasing this stuff you notice that white area just move it move it to the section until you are satisfied with it but it's going to go a bit bigger if you draw it like this see it's very big right let me undo it because it's too big now let me go ahead and reduce it um to this area i think i'm okay with this and then it's still big right now i'm going to undo that and reduce it even further so um right this you might not get it exactly but so far you draw it and then you typed it they are going to know what you're talking about now you notice i highlighted um almost the three things but the youtube actually stands in the center of everything i highlighted now if i click on this check icon and then confirm so before i confirm it guys let's assume you made a mistake and it's probably too big you notice this dot this orange dot you could actually um reduce this image by um doing this um i just moved it around so that i'll be able to see this edge now drag the edge to the area you want it drag it drag it even further 
so guys um there is even more thing i want to um discuss um you notice there are three different things right there let me move it closer to the camera there are three different things right here you notice this area it has um this like is a peg and this one is like a cancel icon if you want to remove or if you want to delete this particular um this particular line you drew just press on this one and then if you if you want to if you want to mirror the um the drawing you tap on this one you notice just notice the drawing you notice it moves right now what hap what is happening right there is because it is mirroring it to the other side you might not notice it the different that much because um um you might not notice the different that much because of the drawing that is not so perfect but that is exactly what is happening and to reduce it you need to choose from here you need to drag from this area this area right there it has like a cycle kind of stuff but if you want this um this this particular line to play longer on the timeline you notice this orange icon right there on the center what this does is the same thing to what this does this orange line right there if you drag it the video is going to play um the line is going to go even longer you notice on the video right now if you also click and hold this let me click and hold it pay attention to the timeline pay attention to this timeline this area pay attention to this timeline while i click and hold on that you notice it's moving on the timeline right so this actually does the same thing with this so you can either make use of this or make use of this whichever one you want that is okay but it actually does the same thing so if you are okay with what you have done click on this check icon to confirm and it's going to display when it reaches to that area you notice it's displaying right there so there is even more things you guys can do now before i end this video let's say you created a video and you want to add your logo to display now the thing you need to do is to click on this sticker area there is a sticker um, icon or button right there click on the sticker and then it's going to um, display sticker for you so click on this plus icon right there to choose a particular sticker so normally you can choose a sticker or an emoji but guys you remember i mentioned i want to have a logo on it now to have a logo on it you notice where it has this camera icon click on that camera icon and you can notice this is the existing stickers but i want it to have um my logo on it so all i need to do is you can snap if you want to snap your logo or you snap your face you can just make use of this camera icon but i do not want to make use of that i already have my logo on my phone so i'm going to click on this um this image icon right there or photo icon now it's going to bring this area so click on the gallery area to display the gallery even in a different way so i like to display it like this i want to go to images and now this is my logos so i can choose any logo i want from here i decide to choose this my logo i'm okay with this but if you are not okay with the size you can go ahead and increase the size right here this allows you to um, scale the size so if you want to scale the image just um, use this but i think i'm okay with the default size just click on this particular icon to scale the image this is going to allow you to scale the image any way you want but i think i'm okay with the original but this is crazy because anytime you try to anytime i try to work on this it always go crazy let me go right back and choose the same image and I think that is an error from their application whenever you try to redo um the changes you made it won't go so let's say i already chose my logo and i'm okay with it just click on this check icon on the top area and this is my logo right now there are two things you can remember the same thing displaying right there initially the close icon to close it out the um let me okay right now if i click on the mirror you can understand what happens you notice my this thing is facing upside down right it's facing sideways is now this is now the perfect um area. i don't know if you notice actually but either way so i want to reduce the size this is the area where we reduce the size just from this area i'm going to drag it even up and up um i'm okay with that size i'm going to move it around to move it around make sure you have it selected in the center um now um uh, i'm actually okay with the size right now but i'm trying to move it i'm trying to move it a bit further but because um 
it's it's um a small phone and i didn't rotate the screen that's the reason why it's that way all right the reason why i raised my screen up is because i want to show you guys something now you notice my logo is actually going to play from here to here so for some reason if you want your logo to play from the beginning of the video to the end all you need to do is to either drag this timeline to start from the beginning or or you make use of this particular icon right there you notice right now it's going to start from the beginning of the video right so i want it to start playing from the beginning of the video immediately after the outro so um until the end of the video now let me go ahead and scroll now this area where you have this red stuff if you actually move away from here you notice um i moved away from the red stuff and the logo is no longer showing so if you want this logo to show till the end of the video click on this red stuff let me go back click on the red stuff or you click on the logo now you notice it's active now you can go ahead and drag this to the end or you tap on this and you notice the video will keep playing the video is going to keep playing until you are okay you can leave it but i think this is actually a long way to do it i think the best way to do it is just drag this drag this until the end of the video or until you are satisfied and then you leave it so i think pretty this is just the perfect way to do it and if you are okay click on this check icon to confirm that and now let's play the video so you see the logo but now um the logo is not exactly perfect because if you notice right there it has their own logo called films over there so you have to move this logo <laughs> um it's always showing this information so i have to move this logo from here oh the reason why it's showing this icon is because it thought i want to remove their own logo so to remove this logo click on edit clip edit clip don't forget guys edit clip and then let's play okay this is displaying only the clip So I went to sticker section and now this is the sticker. Instead of having it right there, I'm going to move it to the left. The reason is because it only already have the film's logo right there. So having the, your own logo over there is actually going to destroy it if you want to. So guys, this is all I have to show you guys. And if you want to come over to the settings area, let's say you want to make use of different aspect ratio this video i'm making right now is for youtube and on default it chose the um frame rate for me on default because of the video i chose but for some reason guys if you want to choose your video probably you are making your video for tiktok instagram or facebook whichever one of them click on this aspect ratio and you are going to see different one currently is on 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 the width side if you want to make use of this um square um fine you can make use of square and if you want to make use of vertical the vertical is not active and the vertical videos are for tiktok and also for instagram so instagram reels so this particular application you cannot make use of it in creating videos for tiktok but if you make use of their premium version you have access to all of this so guys um if you want to even go to a video if you want to create video for your um youtube or your facebook go ahead and make use of this white screen and then click ok that is all i've selected and now click on this check icon to confirm that you are okay with it and now go ahead and click on save to gallery now make use of um normal video and if you want to use if i'm going to make use of the hd actually the hd should be the best so guys if you are rendering your video make sure you stay on this page if you go away from this page it's actually going to be slower or it will not render at all so make sure you stay on this page till it completes rendering to 100 percent all right guys thank you for watching this video and i'm going to see you on my next video stay safe guys peace